welcome back to another video I'm Abaji and in this one we're gonna look at how to style this application and we're gonna convert it from this button look to this okay and we're gonna have a drop down menu right here this is gonna be part six of um, developing a to-do app with a countdown timer okay so this is the video where we're gonna do the styling okay so it's gonna be a quick one we only have three things to do the first step is to um, link bootstrap CDN jQuery and jQuery UI CDNs okay so if you look at the text or the code we have the bootstrap that means the CSS that we are linking to the project we also have the uh, jQuery UI that means the CSS that will be the CDN for jQuery UI so the next line will have the the theme that mean the css okay we're gonna link the bootstrap jquery ui and yeah so jquery ui will have three cdns to be added so with jquery ui you have the jquery ui that mean the css you have the theme that mean the css and also the structure that mean the css so after linking all the bootstrap the jquery ui css we're gonna link the jquery itself the javascript file and we're going to be using version 3.5.0 and then we're going to link the jquery ui and this is going to be used for the drop down okay the date picker okay so the next step that is step two we're going to be styling the page uh, that is giving it this background and also the style the uh, the input fields the buttons and so on all right so the last step will be the drop down javascript file okay the uh, date picker right here so i'm gonna quickly copy these codes and then paste them in sublime all right so the first code will be this i'm gonna copy the entire cdns that is the bootstrap and the jquery ui I'm gonna paste it right here in the list task HTML okay so this is a template I'm gonna paste it in so we have the bootstrap CDN we have the three jQuery UI CDNs for the CSS files okay so the reason why we're doing this is in our previous videos we normally download these files and have them as static files in the application so with this one we don't want to mess with the static file settings and things like that we just want to link the cdns directly in the application so that we can use them and style the application okay so the next step would be the styling of the page actually we copied the jquery and the jquery javascript files as well all right so we're gonna be using the styles i'm gonna copy the entire styles and then paste them in the in the file itself like i said we will not be using static files a separate static file for this project i've shown how to do that in our previous videos or our previous series okay so uh the styling for the page will be i'm gonna give the background a gradient color i'm gonna save it and refresh the app all right so this is the gradient that we set it we're gonna transition from uh, a lighter green towards a dark color at the bottom of the page okay so that's what we're doing with this gradient okay and then uh, we're gonna style the inputs the width the padding margin and the box sizing and this has to do with the um, the inputs that we have in the form right in the form right here so if you look at we have these input fields this is what we are styling with the input class right here or the input element right here okay all right so we also have a container that is the entire page so we are styling the container as well and that container is going to be having a width of 50 percent that is going to give it this small um space right here we're going to be giving it that 50 percent all right all right so we're going to have a margin 20 and we're gonna set it to auto and then we're gonna have the padding 20 px background color will be 
white okay and then we're gonna be giving it uh, about a radius of three that is this small corner radius right there okay and we're gonna give it a box shadow oh yeah a box shadow right here all right if you look at it you can see it's kind of a shadow around going around the um, the container okay so that is the styling for the container all right so if you look in the HTML codes you're gonna have a class item row so that's what we are styling with this okay so we're gonna give it a background of that margin and so on so we're gonna have a, a save button and that is the button right here we're gonna give it a class of save and then style that save right here we're gonna give it this color and the text will be white so that is this button right here all right so that is the styling for the container and what we have left is the drop down uh, date picker so the title we can have our title typed in the drop down uh, for the date we want to have it as a date picker all right so that we will have to type the date as we were doing it in the previous videos so we're gonna do that next so that's the code piece of code I have right here I'm gonna copy and paste it right below the HTML text all right so the reason why I want to put the JavaScript file below here is uh, for it to make sure that the pages are loaded or the elements are loaded before it applies any JavaScript to it okay so that's it and um, the styling is this we're gonna be using a jQuery plugin that is the date picker so with all jQuery's we'll have to put it in a document ready function okay and then I'm defining a variable date input container and option so the date input will be looking for the uh, elements with uh, a name of due all right so in the form we have an element that is due all right the field name will be due so now we're grabbing that and setting it as the date input variable and we're gonna have our container right here okay and then we have have an option the option will be the format of the date so by default if I save it and remove this option right there we will be able to have a date picker okay but the format will be different and this is not what Django expects so if I want to save it I'm gonna have an error okay I'll have to type something here I'm gonna have an error right so the error is not showing up here but the error is the date format that we are submitting in a database will be different from what Django expects so that's why we are doing this uh, formatting of the date so we want it to be like year month and day so if I save it and refresh alright so now if I choose a date I'll have the actual format that Django expects so that's what we are doing right there with this code okay so we can type whatever we want to type and then submit and we're gonna have it listed down here all right so we have one more styling to do that is the delete button um, I'm gonna style it separately I have this anchor link right here that is doing the delete I'm gonna give it a class of um, I'm gonna give it a, let's say delete and then we're gonna style the delete class all right so I'm gonna go back up here and style the delete button what I'm gonna do is uh, instead of giving it a class and styling it separately I'm gonna use a bootstrap uh, BTN style so I'm gonna use BTN and uh, BTN danger save it and refresh All right so that is the delete right here all right so we have a few more things to take care of before we end this video one of them is to edit the update template and also the delete template all right so as you can see these two pages are not having the same styling as the home page or, or the list page all right so we're gonna make sure we have 
styling right here and also in the delete template so I'm gonna head over here and that is the update template so we're gonna copy the styling right from here all the way up paste it here okay I'm gonna take the JavaScript for the date picker and paste it right here as well okay because the date uh, the update view also have uh, a date picker or a due date field right here so we want to be able to have uh, a date picker for that field as well so I'm gonna refresh all right so we have the styling as how you want it I'm gonna go back and then start the date or the delete template as well okay so with the delete template I don't have to use the date time picker because we don't have any date to pick right here so all we need for that page is the styling and then the CDNs we don't even need the jQuery UI CDNs okay so I'm gonna copy all of this all right and paste it in the delete view or the delete template all right so what I will do is this I'm gonna remove save because we don't have save there uh, we have a container we don't have uh, let's check we don't have a row right here okay I'm gonna remove this one as well just to keep our file simple and light okay we don't have yep yeah, we have a container Alright, so we will remove the jQuery UI. All these three CDNs, we're gonna remove them because we don't need the jQuery on this page. So I'm gonna save and refresh here. Okay, so we will need to start the no button, and that is having a class of my button. So what I'll do is um, I'm gonna style it to have a width of 100% dot my button we're gonna give it a width of uh, 100 percent save it refresh all right so we have it full with right there okay and we wanted to have a space between the no and the yes button so I'm gonna put a BR right here actually two BRs okay I'm gonna save and then refresh okay so this is the styling of the application I hope you enjoyed if you do don't forget to click that like button and if you're new to our channel or you're not yet a subscriber please click on that subscribe button and turn on your notification so that you will not miss our future videos see you in the next video